The Aegon Arena goes super high and gets spicy. Kabam have considered Lizard, Craven, and Scorpion for the game. And Marvel Contest of Champions goes down yet again. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions news for Monday. My word, it's been a spicy weekend of Aegon Arena's games going down. Not to mention the fact there's been little tidbits of information. And as well, we've posted another podcast, which you should only go and bloom and check out. Links are in the description. But also, it has been a corking weekend for myself. I've got a lot done, did a little bit of gardening, and as well defeated the Grandmaster feeling really happy about that although he did kick my butt several times but it doesn't matter because we'll have a lovely crystal opening rewarding myself with all those lovely rewards from opening up the stuff later on i've just repeated myself several times but that doesn't matter because we've got to give thanks and that's got to be thanks to my current youtube members twitch subs and patrons and by the way if you did want to give a free twitch sub and have an amazon prime account you can do by following the on-screen instructions and obviously it doesn't have to be to myself but look it really does help out myself as a creator and as well the channel if you can do so and i should be live streaming tonight over on twitch.tv slash rich the man live go and check it out see you later a new person at home you can give for free just by hitting the like button subscribing with post notifications on all and as well getting involved with the comment section down below i will be down chatting with a lot of you so do make sure to get involved as well with the discussion and some of the topics we're going to discuss today again i've repeated myself but it doesn't matter let's get into the news and now in micro news yes we have three micro stories to go over that give you a little bit of tidbits advice as well look at current bugs in game first up in act 5.3 micro not achieving 100 percent issue bug the fact is there looks to be an issue where somebody has completed this 100% but in fact it looks like one route with that darn forsaking key is uh, scuppering all attempts to get this done 100%. Kabam Mika even saying that I'll report this but obviously wanting to know what the initial run is. Very weird bug to see but look bugs are there in game unfortunately. Next up and in micro weird tech failing in Kabam state news and that is that it looks like back a while ago when we had the last month's event when it was talking about the gold quest being a daily quest as well as other things where you know we had the baron's one it said daily quest well it looks like that is an issue that is on kabam's end with kabam Mike saying uh it does not the daily quest tag thing is a limitation of our tech and when working on it i didn't know that could be a thing i didn't know that that you know that was a limitation by kabam's tech there but Okay, the more you know of these things. And this is your final micro news ish story before we get into the full minutiae of the bigger stories at large. But this is basically saying you have a month now until the changes will be put in place for Morningstar, where she's not able to exploit the regen side of things and the life still when it comes to fighting off against the champion. So if you do want to use the, this champion, Morningstar, against the champion of 6.2.6, .6, then this is your opportunity now to rank up that champion, utilize it, and then go, yay, I did it, and don't have to do it ever again because it's a scuffy old fight. And no retreat, boo. And now let's move on to the very important stories which do really affect players at the moment. So one of the biggest frustrations of the last couple of days, and something that I thought had actually been sorted out and it was fine, was that the game went down. Now it comes at a very critical time because obviously everyone was grinding out for Aegon. So any kind of little slippage of the game going down just dramatically affects whatever other players are able to achieve during this time. Yes, we're in lockdown. Yes, we're not doing anything. But as well, people have lives and they have other things they want to be getting on with. So therefore, having the game go down all of a sudden can be very, very disappointing. And unfortunately, many players were pointing out the fact that this happened around Alliance Wars finishing, which obviously, again, is quite detrimental to an Alliance Wars based participation result at the end of the day and stuff that affects Alliance Wars seasons. Obviously somebody went here, Space Bandit says maybe they should stop messing around with Realm of Champions, fix the game first, just an idea. Unfortunately Space Bandit is incredibly misinformed as well the people that agree with him or her. The fact is Kabam are working on multiple games at the moment, so in this sentence should have included Mirrorverse game, that shop game that I think people are still playing, and Forged to Fight. Kabam themselves have reiterated that they're separated out into different floors or different buildings, which Gabe Frazera has indeed said in the past. Now you might think that I've gone a complete segue by talking too much about Marvel Realm of Champions, and this is going to be all relative to something that's 
that's going to happen next month. That should be when Marvel Realm is released. Now, will that have the same impact on game outage? Will the game have game outage as well? But also, something that's interesting with the other games that I mentioned, if anybody plays Mirrorverse, plays the shop game, which I think is Shop Titans, and Forge to Fight, do you notice the extent of game outage as we have in Marvel Contest of Champions? See what I did there? Very clever. Everything went round circle. Bring the other games into the mix, talk about Marvel Realm of Champions, and find out whether or not we can find out if we're going to see the amount of connection issues or see them in other games. Put it in the comments section or get in contact with me because I really want to find out at the point of the game going down in MCOC, do other games go down as well? <laughs> I, saw, I saw this and this, this made me laugh. Um, even at time, if anybody remembers OG Rich the Man channel stuff where I stole some cables from Kabam HQ and brought the game down. That was funny times, but this is even funnier because uh, it's a hamster powering a server. Just before we finish this story, I do want to make a point to say that this is in, this is serious because at the end of the day, Alliance War stuff affects seasons. If you're in a rift or in something that's got a time-sensitive nature to it, then you lose out. And is there going to be any kind of compensation for this? I don't think that there is. When we've had a lot of these situations in the last week to two weeks, has there been any kind of compensation? No. So, I don't know, maybe there needs to be something like a summon out appreciation event at some point during this month and as well something like a not feeling well maybe feeling green maybe an energy, energy calendar maybe something that's just a case of thank you for playing the game which we used to have a long time ago but you know that's up to kabam to do i just think it's just be a be little nice kind of uh, gesture to the community uh, to do it maybe someone at appreciation but that's up to kabam next up and did you know that craven Lizard and Scorpion have been considered in the past for Marvel Contest of Champions. And why are we at something that's completely unrelated? Well, this is how the story kind of works into everything. So this all started with a poll. Not a Polish person, but a poll on Twitter. Basically, who would win? Marvel Contest of Champions put this out to say who would win out of Gear Team 2099 and Aegon. Now, obviously, I voted for Aegon, knowing that he possesses that belt that has basically got the isosphere kind of implanted into it, the Dirty Rotter. But the fact is, a lot of people seem to back that choice. But the interesting thing, is, thing from it is that there was a response to something that was put into one of the comments. First of all, Gabriel Frazera concluded that uh, it was basically Aegon who was in possession of the Isosphere that was forged into his cosmic belt, Guillotine 2099 sword. It's powerful, but in the end, end of the day, is uh, just knock knockoff of a real Guillotine sword. Ooh. Oh, a bit of shade there, but uh, that's that's fine. But that wasn't the point. The point was this dialogue here between Andrew Willis and Gabe, which was first of all asking the question, is there any chance we see the lizard in the contest at any point? I feel like he would be a great addition with some really cool mechanics. And Gabe was there responding with, he's been considered a few times before, along with Scorpion, Craven, and my favorite classic villain, the Jackal. Spidey foes are always so exciting and colourful that I'm pretty sure Lizard will make his way into the game sooner than later. Now there's been so many iterations of the Sinister Six that basically we could see any number of different champions that are foes to Spider-Man that could be a nice grouping together, creating some fantastic synergies, similar to the way that they've done Venom in the past and obviously other champions certain nods to Sinister Six. So yes, picking up on those like Kraven the Hunter, to a lesser degree Scorpion and definitely obviously with Lizard, but obviously Sandman being the other one that I think a lot of players would love to see in game. What are your thoughts on potentially seeing those characters in the future and how close do you think you are to Lizard? Even though I hear that Lizard's coming next month, which um, I, I don't think it is, I don't think it is, but people say that it is, so why not? Guess away, people. Okay, now onto one of the most important stories of today, and that is going to be Aegon and Aegon's Arena. Now, as we know, this is the coveted champion. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants to dupe it. Now, the fact is, I've got one, I've got two, I've got a six star and a five star version that I want to dupe so darn badly, and it will probably, fingers crossed, will happen this month. But I'm still not prepared to grind it extensively over an arena and just go, look, you know, that I'm wasting three days. Because let's face it, people are going to waste those three days going up against things like Mercs. Not to mention the fact there's going to be people that have an expansive roster or maybe people that are able to invest a lot of money 
into their particular grind. Either way, the fact is, Everybody has got their say on the matter of this incredibly high arena. So incredibly high that as you can see here, Strakdos got position 150 with 76.1 mil. That is ridiculously high, especially for a champion, which obviously is the one of the best champions in the game, but obviously is just like, it's not a new champion, but this is a champion that's been around for such a long time. Now this situation has thrown three prominent members of our community into the light. Two, because unfortunately they missed out after an extensive grind. Feels bad to Katie and as well to Brian Grant who went for Aegon. But as well, there is HQ Sean. At the end of the day, all is fair in love and war and grinding the arena. However, though, many people have pointed out that maybe there's some Merc services involved with this, but it is only rumour. However, though, you look at this and going, he's got rank 3 6 star. Did he need to grind out? Well, it could be a case he's a really hardcore collector. But at the end of the day, I'll throw it over to the court of MCC Community Opinion and put it in the comment section. How do you feel about this? Do you think that he doesn't owe anybody any loyalty? Do you think that uh, he's got a six star rank three so therefore you know why does he need to do it thoughts in the comment section about this okay now let's go over quickly arena predictions all my predictions are down below at the moment so i'm going with gear team 20 and i'm going for 2.5 mil which i think is fair of the results we're going to see and a four star which i kind of went a bit overboard with on wednesday saying it could go for about 10 mil actually seven mil is largely going to be fine for the grind my apologies for overshooting that prediction and obviously undershooting for Aegon as a five star which obviously went 76 mil when i predicted 70 mil flat and just to cover the prediction based on the results as you can see a gear 2099 going for 2.4 mil nando rider saying he picked this up for 7.1 mil which again it lies well with the prediction and obviously and unfortunately 80 mil is what i'm going to predict for the five star version which as you can see here went 60 76 mil which is you know it's just disgusting and that's been marvel contest the champions news for monday make sure to keep locked to the channel because we're doing that amazing initial clear act six opening later on i'm so excited for that so we'll check out some fresh content here check out the supporting links here and also rich's realm where i posted a video all about marvel realm of champions and that's my marvel realm channel so go make sure to check it out